A KRDO 13 investigates special report is spurring changes in our state to better protect domestic violence victims. New checks in the system coming more than a year after we exposed failures that led to a Pueblo mother being gunned down by a habitual abuser. KRDO 13 investigator Sean Rice is live with this major follow-up on his special report failed by the system. Sean. Yeah, Barton Heather Renee Dominguez was shot and killed inside an East Side Dollar General in Pueblo in January of 2022. Her case spotlighted the need for wholesale changes to our domestic violence laws, namely the complete lack of follow up when a repeat abuser says they don't have a gun when in reality they do and use that gun to carry out murder. And now the top law enforcement officer here in Colorado says more is being done to prevent that from happening ever again. Nobody checked and paid attention. Yeah. because he had weapons still, or else he wouldn't have been able to kill my daughter. For the very first time, Laverne Dominguez is speaking out to KRDO 13 Investigates about how her daughter, Renee Dominguez's case, fell through the cracks. Pueblo police say her ex-boyfriend, Jerome Bustos, used this gun to shoot and kill her. But our team previously uncovered it was a gun the courts mandated Bustos to turn over. But no one checked to make sure he did. Follow through? on orders that the judge gave that day that he was to turn in all his weapons. Well, why didn't they go make sure? Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser agrees. In a new state report, he highlights a record high of domestic wow. violence fatalities in the year 2022, 86% of which involved a gun used by an abuser. A big problem is the current system leaves it on the domestic violence perpetrator to surrender weapons effectively voluntarily. They have to certify that they have done so, but there isn't the level of oversight, the accountability that we need. We quite simply must do better in this area. The state is now developing a pilot program that would allow the Colorado Bureau of Investigation to ensure accused abusers are giving up their guns when they're required to do so. But Renee's family wants there to be action on this promise, helping to ensure no one else falls through the cracks like Renee did. I wish this on no one. The hurt, the really deep hurt for everyone. Something needs to be done. For this work to be effective, Weiser says there also has to be buy-in from district attorneys across the state who would be required to call in the CBI to investigate these cases. Reporting live in our studio, Sean Rice, KRDO 13 Investigates.